I have seen hundreds and thousands of people who just become healthy and well simply because they are not fueling up all the time when the tank is spilling. In the yoga center, everybody eats at ten o'clock in the morning and at seven o'clock in the evening. Our lives are very physically active. There are no automobiles inside the ashram, it's a large place. Everybody either walks or cycles. Even if you have to go to the dining hall, it's a kilometer. If you want to go to your workplace, it's half a kilometer, one kilometer, like this. All the time, people are physically active. So everybody is very hungry by the time it's three thirty, four o'clock in the evening. They're extremely hungry. But we learn to live with that because empty stomach and hunger are two different things. Hunger means your energy levels start dropping. But empty stomach is a good thing. Your body and your brain works at its best only when your stomach is empty. So we always make sure we eat in such a way, how much ever we eat, our stomach must be always empty within two to two and a half hours time maximum. So we go to bed hungry always. People think they cannot sleep. They can sleep for twenty-five years on an average. I slept only two and a half to three hours. These days I'm getting little lazy and speak, sleeping anywhere between three and a half to four and a half hours in spite of the level of travel that I have. Because in the next ten days, I'm in five different countries doing all kinds of events. So, you're able to keep this up simply because you don't overeat. It's very, very important. Everybody eats two meals. I generally eat only one meal. 4.35 in the evening because I don't like to sit in front of the plate and worry about how much to eat. I like to eat well. So, 4.35 in the evening if I eat a meal, it's only next day. The first thing is inertia in the body. The amount of sleep that you have is inertia. The intention of life is to live, isn't it? But because you talked about American doctors, this is all being picked up here also. All American doctors say minimum seven to eight hours you must sleep. So that means one third of your life you must sleep. Another two, three hours, four hours goes in bath, toilet, eating, this, 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 you know. So literally fifty percent of your life is just maintenance. Suppose you have a vehicle, you have a motorcycle or a car, if it goes to service one day in a month, all right to keep it. If it goes to service fifteen days in a month, this is a nuisance, isn't it so? Most people have made their systems into a nuisance because their own body is a big impediment in their life. Anything they want to do, their body will not allow them to do. So in this there are many aspects. One important aspect is people are eating much more than what they should eat. Simply because they have been told you must eat more, otherwise you will become weak, this, that. No, it is the way you keep your body. Today, everybody is trying to work towards a fuel-efficient car, motorcycle, everything. This means what? If the machine runs smoothly, it'll consume less fuel, isn't it? So if you sit here and you are very much at ease, now it'll consume less fuel. If you <laughs> like this all the time, then it'll consume more fuel, it'll want you to eat. Compulsiveness will come about this. So, this new name, intermittent eating, <laughs> you should see in the United States people come to our programs, our programs will run ten hours, twelve hours, but they will come with some biscuit and something else. They say, I have uh, sugar intolerance, I have to eat. I tell them, you just be here, you're not going to die, I'll ensure because I don't want anybody dead on my hands, all right <laughs> I'll make sure, you first day, no, 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 I have to eat. By third day, they gave up all that. Twelve hours without food they sat there, they're perfectly fine. Health is not something you can do from outside. Health is something you have to do from within. Now, it's become like this, the healthcare systems, especially where there is heavy insurance policies. People are eating and drinking all kinds of rubbish, go to the doctor and say, fix me. <laughs> this is not how it works.